see this, folks. How are we today? We're coming into the holiday season. We're going to do a little unboxing of the Team Magic E4 DMF. I actually got the Sylvia. I didn't get the Toyota. I got the body changed. It's a 6.5 turn brushless rig. It is belt driven. Cool box. Nowhere near as cool as the car. It's got a front one way diff. It's made of these, they call it a silver fiber sheet. It's basically very fancy plastic from what I can see. Adjustable turnbuckles, which is awesome. We'll get to adjusting them soon. The radio is pretty stock, but yeah, it's you can drive with it. I've been using it the whole time. I want to have two, only for the reason that I want to have two radios so I can put both cars against each other. Let's have a look. It does come with this wing. You don't need that. All right. This is the Team Magic. This is a Tamiya TT01. Depending on what you want to do, if you're serious about drifting, if you just want to like muck around at the front, or pretty well just do whatever, you can put rubber tires on this bad boy and rally cross it. You can't do that with this. But this will do things that this cannot do on the drift track. Stock. I'm sure you can modify these TTO ones to be just as good if not better than a ED4 the E4D um, yeah, sorry the E4D MF let's have a closer look at it Here are the rocks falling out of it. Mrs. is going to be so happy about that. I'm running a 2S LiPo. Tornado, 45C burst rate, constant. I get pretty good run times, but compared to this, with the same battery, the run times are no comparison. But like I said, the things you can do with this, you can't do with this stock. The belt driven system makes it more vulnerable to picking up things. Whereas if you're a bit of a basher and you're, you know, all over the shop, you've got rocks flying everywhere, bits of sticks and grass, this gearbox is actually covered. Whereas I have actually been through about, yeah, this is my second, second spur gear, 110 tooth spur gear for the old. Other than that, that was my fault anyway for playing around on the street. We'll watch a video soon, the big Sylvia doing some illegal street drifting. Um, it is, it's awesome. I'm, I'm aware that I probably will pick up a rock and blow these out every now and then, but that's just a risk I'm willing to take. Other than that, I love both of them. But this one is my favorite. This is brushed 21 turn. This is a brushless 6.5 turn. Yeah, 6.5 turn. With a 5,000 750 kV motor, 4. 
as you can see. You can see how the, the motor is completely centralized at the front here. So when you give that a big boot and it, the torque, it's nice and you'll see when you get one, what I'm talking about. They are a drift machine, I'm telling you. The body, I, can't, I bought a pre-made body. I just done my own thing with it. I'm, I've taken the light buckets out. I'm looking to put lights in it. I'll go see Keithy at the RC shop. He always hooks me up. All right, that's enough talking about these things. Um, let's watch a video. Thank you. Merry Christmas. One last thing with the control. Pretty cool control, slim line. This cable tie, if you're giving your kids a go, it's a pretty good speed governor. So, with this car, is pretty fast. So, you might want to think about that if you're letting the kids have a go. Also, it comes with this wicked little exhaust pipe, it clips on the back of your body. Like so. It is 480 Australian and I would recommend it. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a drift car this Christmas, it's not too late. Get online and have a look and get into it today. Enjoy the video.
<laughs> I've got too many of these presents. <laughs> <laughs> 